Hey, it's Jared with Ditch Auto, and I've got an RX100 Mark IV video for you. This is actually a review about the case that I've decided to use with this camera, and I've gone through some cases trying to find one that is best. Now, when I first bought this camera, I thought to myself, hey, my local Best Buy is gonna have a ton of case options for this. So I went down to Best Buy and looked around and tried to find a case that was gonna work, and I failed. I couldn't find a good case. Um, they either had uh, you know, a snap that I felt was gonna be a cause for me losing my camera, um, the camera was too tight of a fit. In some of the cases, once I added this little grip to the camera, the camera no longer fit in the case well. Um, there, there were just too many issues until I landed upon this Lowell Pro case here, um, which I'll put a link to the description or in the description below to where you can see more information about this. But uh, what I liked about this camera bag is that um, the uh, the kind of the belt strap here is fixed. It's it doesn't snap off. It doesn't you know change length. Or there isn't any way that this is going to come off. So when I'm wearing this camera on my belt, or I've ran this this camera bag through something else, um, I'm not going to worry about that snap popping off, something getting caught on it, and my camera falling uh, you know to its doom or whatever. Um, so the, the camera bag itself adds a little bit of protection around the camera. It's not a super padded case or anything like that. It does have some padding in the front and in the back um, that keeps the camera safe. And the camera fits in it and has a little bit of room to spare, which I like. It's not a, a total snug fit, um, so the camera isn't, uh, you know, the protection is, is a little bit greater in my opinion because the camera isn't pressed against the edges and so if I was if it was to take a little bit of a hit, it isn't going to be as big of an issue. Um, and then it also has this pouch on the front here, which has enough room for probably a couple of extra batteries as well as another SD card or two. Um, and that's fantastic as well. The case on the front here has some sort of probably like hard plastic insert that's inside of the case, which is going to really protect against, you know, if you get jabbed or something really hits you uh, from the front side here, it's gonna protect the camera from scratches or any issues like that. The back side, you're probably, you know, this is resting up against you typically, so there isn't gonna be really any issues, and the back side is relatively soft and flexible. Um, I've worn this and sat down in a car and put my seatbelt on and, and worn this all day. While I was vlogging for um, about 15 days, I wore this every single day and it was comfortable. It wasn't a problem. Um, it didn't become an issue for me. And a couple of the other cases that I tried initially were too rigid or um, the snap on the back here would pop off and then my camera almost fell a couple of times. And those were just issues that I had with the case. And so this Lowell Pro case, though not you know the most stylish case in the world, I mean, it's a pretty basic case. It's not a fashion statement or anything like that, but it definitely protects your your uh, camera. I've been using this case now since I got the camera initially. Um, a couple of days after that, I discovered this case on Amazon, ordered it, had it here the next day, and have not looked back. It's been a fantastic case. To me, it's better than the case that Sony makes and recommends for this camera. It's just a great case all around. And it's gonna be flexible too. Um, you know, Should you decide to go with a slightly larger camera, it's gonna fit in there. Um, there's definitely a little bit of extra room in there that you could even use to you know, put your driver's license or credit card or something like that in here if you wanted to go a little bit more minimal with what you were carrying. So this low pro case is fantastic, um, especially for the price. You cannot go wrong when protecting your investment with this Sony RX100 Mark IV. So definitely check it out. The link's in the description below to this case. If you have any questions about it, ask. I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope that you subscribe to our channel. That's uh, how we get updates to you for new videos and uh, whether they be product reviews, tutorials, or um, different things to help you become a better photographer. Thanks for checking out Ditch Auto, and we'll see you next time.